Hello again. Uh, we're going to continue from our series of looking at Facebook Marketplace ads for cars that are of interest to us. Um, I don't know what's in the water or in the air, but it looks like everybody has brought out their toys for sale. Um, I'm not sure if it's the economy or if it's uh, because the weather is a little nicer out these days during the winter that people are deciding that they want to venture to sell their cars. But let's look in here and check out what we've got. I mean, if you saw our earlier video, you saw where we had uh, looked at several different cars, 200SX, a couple of them. Uh, this Honda Civic SI 99 without any modifications. It was amazing. Check that video out. Uh, as we look down through here, there are some amazing finds out here. We have a Veloster R Spec Coupe manual. Which looks really nice. It's got 180,000 miles, but uh, manual transmission looks like it's been taken care of. And it's an R spec. So if you're into weekend warrior racing, hello. We're looking at a turbo that can take you and uh, give you a fun weekend spin, whether you're going out to the SCCA solo. Autocross or what have you. Wow. Nice. We'll look down a little bit further. So that Veloster is at $5,900. But it is an R spec, so I guess they know what they got and they're not going to be lowballed. Um, they didn't say that, but uh, sometimes they do say those types of things. We have a manual transmission here in this mini. Cooper, John Cooper Works hatchback wagon. That's an interesting find. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. 160,000 miles. Uh, they want $3,995 for that. Probably a dealer car because it shows a uh, powertrain warranty comes on all vehicles and financing and extended warranty available. So you'd have to factor that into your plans on how you would negotiate that. And we have other videos that can tell you and show you how to negotiate with uh, dealers, whether it's a used car dealer or a new car dealer. Um, if we continue down through here, we see some classics from the 80s rear wheel drive corolla four door but at this stage of the game you take what you can get this looks like a pretty decent car forty five hundred dollars three hundred thirty one thousand miles and um The, um, there was another one down in here that we saw. Look at this. Let's see this. A 1990 Honda Civic. Wow. I'm telling you what. These people have brought out their toys for sale. Nice ones, too. As we go through these, you need to drop down into the comments what, which one of these you would uh, most likely pursue. I'm looking at this Forerunner, it's not a manual. I searched for manuals, but sometimes you get an automatic that comes up for some reason. The options here are pretty extensive and interesting 
for what we have available for us auto enthusiasts that are looking for that needle in a haystack option. If you have certain cars you want to look at together, send me a note or a comment to make a suggestion on what car you're looking at. If you have a certain car that you're looking to purchase, you can also send that link to me and I'll actually go through that potentially in another video in the future. We can go through that together and uh, look at the features and what you know the benefits are and also what the sort of things to beware in a given uh, listing. So we'll finish out here looking at this 2016 Subaru BRZ, 49,000 miles, which is actually pretty low mileage for a car of that age. Clean manual transmission, does not look modified. So that is another interesting find. Albeit, it is fairly pricey at $19,000. But if it's what you're looking for, maybe that's worth it to you. If it is, drop it in the comments. So, we've gone through a few things here. Check back in a future video. We will sh be showing you what car we've pursued out of these, what we found out, and give you some further tips or pointers for how to vet out a car of your dreams that you see on a certain marketplace. Please like us, please subscribe, and join us again later. See ya.